everybody, and welcome back to Chill in the UK. I'm here at the top of Long Stairs in Nottingham, a medieval site that's been closed since 1933. These stairs date back over 500 years and have been inaccessible to the public since 1933. Thanks to the hard work of Janine Tanner and a group of hard-working volunteers, these stairs are now almost back to their former glory. And now you can see, you can actually see the steps. You can see the amazing walkway that was once here. And I'm so lucky to have Janine Tanner here with me today to take us down the steps. So Janine, it's been six years since you got the key to this gate. It has six years today. It's so incredible. And thank you, Janine, for letting us be here today. Okay. So should we go and have a look? Yeah. Yeah. You can see the plaque as well that's on the wall that Janine and the volunteers kindly paid for. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow, look at the view, the view as well from up here is incredible. Wow. So we're halfway down the steps now. This used to go all the way down to the bottom. It did, yeah. Uh, this separates what was the marshland, is it that right? It was narrow marsh down there. Narrow yeah. marsh to the to up, upper pavement. I think uh, I've got the high pavement. High pavement. <laughs> See, I the, I've got the expert here with me today to tell me everything about it. So let's, uh, let's take a look around. So this is the old, um, this used to be a cave system, yeah, right? Yeah, this used to be a cave, yeah. Wow. Yeah, this, this was um, a, a shoe shop. A shoe shop? Of some sort, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Um, it was bricked up in the 1870s, and it's been closed for 150 years, and nobody knows what's behind it. That's the exciting part about it, and I think that's what led me to this, this site. Obviously, I love historic sites, but the fact that there's a hidden cave, that there's a secret going on behind it, you know, you don't know what's behind there. No. And that's actually one of the exciting things about Nottingham, is all the hidden caves and mm. systems that are around. So is the plan to open this this out then? Well, the plan's to unbrick it and have a yeah. look. We, we don't, like I say, we, nobody knows what's behind it. So we don't know if it's safe. We don't yeah. know how far it goes back or anything. Wow. So, what, What's interesting as well is even like when it was bricked up, say 1870s? In the 1870s. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's historical in itself. Yeah. So actually these bricks are historical yeah. in their own right, really, because they're yeah, over 100 years old. Wow. You can see all the stone as well. I, what do you think these holes were? I've no idea. I, I really don't know what must have made them holes over the years. There, there seems to be an awful lot of them. It's almost like peg holes, but they, they look natural, don't they? Oh, there is actually some... The, like a, um, a nail there. The nails, you'll see some smaller ones as well. Oh, yeah. They were what the residents who lived here... Yeah. Hung, hung their washing on. They had oh, washing really? on. This was their yeah. washing line. Wow. There's one there. Imagine. And there's some there as well. Imagine using this as a washing line. <laughs> it's yeah. like the me medieval site that you're using to dry your washing. But so, how far is the, plan is the plan to come to here? We're going to um, build a wall. This, we're going to in make this wall higher, bring it to here, yep. and then we're going to bring another wall across here with a maintenance gate so that. Uh, me and the volunteers can get down there to maintain, to maintain those. That. Wow. But the the wall's going to come across here so that it gives privacy to the residents. Yeah. So that we're not overlooking the residents. So cool. I love I love seeing historical sites and especially when people have spent time to improve them and make them accessible. If you know what I mean. With yeah. obviously they're not publicly accessible. Don't think that you're going to come in and be able to walk down here. Uh, only with specific permission can you come down these steps. Um, but you can see how, how what amazing work you've done, considering this was completely overgrown. Yeah. And now you can see it as well. It's yeah. just amazing. And you can see it from the roundabout as well. So if you walk in past BBC roundabout, you can look over and you'll be able to see these steps. Uh, you can see them on Google Earth as well, yeah. which is quite yeah. cool, because I was doing research for the project, and I was like, oh, where about are they? And I was like, oh, you can actually see. Is yeah. it Malin Hill? Is Malin, that, Malin Hill, Malin that's Hill. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. It comes up as like, this is Malin Hill, so yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So what, what got you involved in kind of restoring these amazing steps? Well, 
because I'm interested in local history, I started walking around the lace market because I've not been to the lace market before and I wanted to have a wander around and, and see what it was like. I'd seen photographs of Malin Hill and I'd wa I walked up Malin Hill and I knew that long stairs came off Malin Hill. And I walked up and I thought, well, I haven't seen long stairs, where is it? I walked back down again, came back up again. I was thinking, it's, it's got to be here somewhere. Yeah. All, <laughs> the, all there is is this untidy garden that's yeah. attached to it. Because it was so overgrown, it looked like a, an overgrown garden. It didn't look like there were steps there. So I must have walked up and down it about two or three times. And when I got back up there and I, th I thought, I wonder if this is it. I thought it can't be because it looks yeah. like a garden. Yeah. No way would they treat a historic site yeah. like that. <laughs> because, it, I mean, so much of the lace market has been restored and it's beautiful. And, you know, people rave about it. And then I, I looked closer at the, the um, overgrowth through the gate and I thought, no, oh, there's steps there. This is it. Yeah. And I, some of the old photographs I've seen, there was actually a street sign for Longstairs. Oh, wow. And I thought, no wonder I couldn't find it, because the street sign's been taken down. So I was just absolutely heartbroken looking through the gate at it. I, I thought, why have they just left this? Because all of the wonderful old photographs that they've got of it. And I, yeah. I just thought, no, I've got to do something about this. But and this was in January uh, 2017, and I wasn't able to do anything at, at straight at the time, because I was already organising another plaque further on in the city centre. As soon as I got that out of the way, I contacted the council at the end of 2017 and just said, need to do something about long stairs is there any chance we can come down and clear it and in january 2018 they granted me access to come onto long stairs which was actually put on radio nottingham was oh, coming wow. through the gates for the first time um and i came down and it was i mean it's, it's been on youtube the video of us coming down here for the first time yeah i've it? seen um, it you tr you're like making your way <laughs> yeah. through the brambles and all that stuff it's really really cool to see and um we went back up and i, I just said i've got to do something about this so I, I contacted the council and said look can we clear it properly and they said yeah yeah you can you, we'll give you a um, wow. chance to clear it they, they made me go to a massive council meeting with loads of um, <laughs> councillors and everything and I, and I had to stand up in front of about 30 people and explain the history of Longstairs. Oh wow. Um, but when they said um, you know do, do we give a permission to go on the stairs put your hand up all the councillors put their hands up. Wow that's so good uh, so that is really yeah, awesome. So we got the permission to come and do the work but after that weekend when I locked the gate again I looked at it and I thought, this is going to overgrow again yeah. very quickly. It can't... Yeah, it's not just about cleaning it, yeah. we've got to maintain it. We've got to do something about it properly. So I, I contacted the council again and said, look, can I have the permission to permanently maintain it? Yeah. And they said, yeah. Wow, that's so good. <laughs> and there's never been any any signs that they would want to take that off you? They're, they're happy with you yeah, they're, to continue they're to maintain fine, it? Yeah. That's so good, that's they, really um, awesome. They got me to do um, a risk assessment on it and they... Um, and I've got insurance to work here. Yeah. And they'll, that, that's all they were bothered about. They wanted the risk assessment and they wanted a copy of the insurance documents. And then they just went, off you go. Wow, that's incredible. So, yeah. So I found out about this project by Facebook. So mm. how did the Facebook come about? Can well, you I, set that up? I, I already run other Facebook groups. I run Nottingham's Railways Remembered as well. Yes, and that's yeah. what, that one I've been running since 2014. But I decided I wanted to do something about the local history. So I started Knott's History on our heritage. And I basically started it so that I could focus on this. Yeah. Because I wanted to, I wanted to get members of the group to be able to follow our work that we were doing here. And it wasn't until I'd unveiled the plaque and the street sign that I decided I wanted to try and restore it. Yeah. Until then, we, we, we had just maintained it. But um, so many people were absolutely overwhelmed by it. I can um, imagine. I just said, right, I'm going to see if I can get funding and see if we can try and um, and get it restored. Yeah, you see a lot of people in the comments who are like, I never knew this existed, or like this has now got me interested in mm. historic sites. I find myself looking at areas that are overgrown in the city and going, I wonder what's there. I wonder what what they're hiding <laughs> by just locking this this area away. And it seems like this that exists in all cities. Yeah. And you said you're from Grimsby, and you yeah. did similar projects in Grimsby as well, where you were kind of looking well, I, at historical yeah. sites and I, di I didn't um, do a, a the, the, well it wasn't really a project I wrote a book 
on local okay. history. Wow. And, and I was only 19 at the time. So oh, wow. That's <laughs> the, impressive. That I, impressive. I used to go around to, to interview people and they, they used to say to me, are you doing it for a school project? <laughs> no, I'm writing a book. Because <laughs> yeah. you just don't get 19 year olds wanting to write about local oh, history. Oh no, not now as well, yeah. especially not now. Yeah, uh, but, um, but yeah, I, I, I spent a year writing this book on local history that I, I nearly got published, but the publisher died while he was oh in the process of, of publishing it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I never ended up getting it published, but I've still got it all together. Yeah. Um, but the history of, of Nottingham is just absolutely amazing. It is. Well, I think there's the history of the Midlands, actually. Yeah. The Midlands in general is, is there's quite a lot of um, like industrial history and, and yeah. everything, and there's a lot of really talented architects and builders. I mean, yeah. you've just got to look at the, the stairs behind us, how this bricks cascade up yeah. the wall. Like, you don't see that now. If, if you were building a wall now, it would be like like the wall over there, pan over there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> see how it's kind of like, it's built like a wall, where, whereas here, it's actually like, I don't know, I don't know how they did it. Well, they, they designed this purposely, um, ascending from right to left, yeah. so that if, there were guards stationed at the top. If anybody came in from the River Lean yeah. to, to cause havoc in the town, they'd have guards at the top. And when people ran up the steps to, um, to, to reach the top of it, they would have their shields in their left hands yeah. so they couldn't defend themselves. Oh, so wow. they would then attack them. Ah, wow. That's how, that's so this was a defensive yeah. kind of thing yeah, as well. Because when this was first built, the River Lean was there. It was literally there. Oh, well, no way. Where Canal Street is. Yeah, it's. Um, so, does it run underneath the city now? Is it a subterranean they've, they've, um, river or is it well, moved? They've, they've moved it. It moved? Oh <laughs> my God. It, yeah. I always find these things so interesting when, when you find out things like that. It's yeah. like, what was once here? This part of Canal Street used to be called Lean Side because oh, okay. it was next to the river. <laughs> wow. So, what's the next plans for the steps? So, you've got it to this, this point. I mean, it's fantastic to see it like this, but obviously, it'd be great if this was open. And, yeah. and accessible to people so they can come down and see these amazing sites. It'd be great to see what's inside that cave, yes, but what, what's your hope, say, for the next like year, five years? Well, the, the main priority at the moment is getting the funding. Yeah, um, the raising the money. Yeah, I mean, I've, you know, the council uh, came to the sum of 36,000 for the restoration. But that was in 2018. Yeah, um, things have changed since then. It's probably going to be nearer 40,000 now. Yeah. But I've, I've said literally that if we can get to 20,000, I yeah. will start looking into starting the restoration. Okay, so you can um, actually start getting things in moving and then yeah. potentially that will then lead to more, more donations anyway. Yes. People will see that it's going on. Well, hopefully we can help help you get to that point yeah, before that would then. Be great. If you're watching this video, make sure you go and donate and yeah, definitely support this project. It's incredible. Even if you're not in Nottingham, like it's important to to re respect our history and support these kind of regeneration projects, I think. Yes. But yeah, really, really cool. So there was another thing I wanted to ask you about, which was the graffiti, yeah. which you didn't mention before. So do you know when this was done? Is this after, uh, it can't have been after they were closed, surely? No, it would have been done before they were closed. Yeah. It probably was done by the people that lived here. Oh, okay. Because the, the, the buildings of Narrow Marsh backed onto Long Stairs and there were actual front doors on here oh, that opened right, wow. out onto here. What's the plan for the cave then? What do you expect is going to happen um, with this once you've opened it up? Well initially it'll be probably, we'll probably just open a doorway in it just yeah. so that we can have a look in it. Yeah. Um, we're keeping our fingers crossed that it's safe inside. Yeah. I mean it, at the moment we, we know that it's triple bricked. Okay. There's a, there's a line of bricks followed by a line of bricks followed by another line of bricks. Oh, okay. So it was definitely whatever was in there. They've definitely not wanted anyone to get back in there. So. Wow. Be interesting. What's inside? Have you yeah. got Have you got any ideas? What? I haven't got any ideas. About <laughs> what's in I there. know I've got some ideas. If you've got any ideas, put them in the comments. <laughs> that, yeah. that's so interesting. Yeah, let's like say it was a cobbler's shop. It was um, somebody got they got into trouble for making that cave. Really? Yeah, because they just dug it out. They well, I heard that actually it. in Nottingham. That was actually yeah. the case, wasn't it? A yeah. lot of the caves are built by people in yeah. secret, yeah. hiding away, trying to build their extend their houses or extend their land by digging into the land around them or below them a lot of the time, mm. which is quite interesting. Yeah. But it'd, be, it'd be quite nice one day when we could come down here and you could have, you know, you've got the plaque at the top, you could have a, a board commemorating yeah. what it was like 
maybe pictures of it throughout history. You know, like they do it yeah. when they when they do regeneration projects, and it'd be quite nice to have that in there, and even even a bucket where people can donate as well yeah. to to keep this site going and uh, be, be fantastic. So. Obviously, a lot of people have been involved in this. I think you deserve the most thanks for getting this the the awareness out there and getting people involved. You know, bringing people in. Is there anyone that you'd like to shout out and say thanks to these people, or do you want to say thanks to everybody? Uh, well, everybody that's helped me over the last six years. It, you know, it's it's been an amazing journey, and I've very much appreciated all their help. One main person in particular that's that's been with me from day one and still with me now is Peter Smith. Peter. Um, he, has, he he calls them our stairs oh, know, right. because That's nice. he, he yeah. says he says it's mine and your project because we do everything together. It is, it yeah. is, it is definitely. And and when when I wanted to come and look at this, I was like, I can't come and look at this without speaking to Janine first. Yeah. And you you were so kind to let me come down with mm. you and and talk to me. And it's just such an honour to be here. Yeah. Thank you from myself. Thank you for everyone else on the group. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are watching this are going. Yeah, thanks, thanks for me as well. Thanks to, for from all the people on the Facebook group that really appreciate all the hard work you do. Mm. Thank you. It's, it's incredible. Okay. So, yeah, thanks everyone for watching and uh, see you next time.